Hey guys, hope you can see me okay in here. I'm sitting under our uh, Dixonia Antarctica Tasmanian tree fern and of course palm trees. Um, this one I planted in April 1994, so it's a Tasmanian tree fern or man fern. And I, in, the in the summer months, you got to keep this thing watered every day. It gets so dry here and it makes for a much happier plant. This one, uh, at this time of the year, we're uh, just past mid-August here and it's already putting out more uh, crozers. Fiddleheads are actually emerging out of the center of the uh, of the crown there. So what you see here is this year's flush. These came out in the spring, late spring. They usually come out a little early. We had a really weird spring. It was a cold spring. It was a wet spring. And uh, it actually lost all of last year's fronds during that cold snap we had in December. But the, the fern itself is fine. It's got about six feet of trunk on it. And I uh, water it from the top and it wicks through. I watered through the crown and it just wicks right through this baby. So this palm, or this fern, it's not a palm, it's got a trunk on it like a palm tree, um, is evergreen here. And until the temperatures drop below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's not evergreen anymore. But if you help it with a little protection in the uh, center crown, little bubble plastic and burlap, I just sit it in there, it, uh, it pushes out new fronds. And it's lost the fronds, uh, let's just see, I think the winter of 98, 2008 and 2021, December 21. So it's lost them about three times since I've planted it here. I, at least three times they've actually frozen off. They've been broken in the snow, but actually froze off about three times in over 28 years, which is not too bad. It's got a pretty good track record here. And uh, this is a pretty fine looking specimen. We have smaller uh, Tasmanian tree ferns in the garden. We also have two Scythia. Uh, Cooperi, Australian tree ferns. I'll grab the camera. It feels nice in the shade. It is hot out here. It's about 29 degrees, but we do have low humidity. So that's what the crown looks like. And you can see the Trachycarpus palms growing beside it. We've got date palms here. And uh, this one grows in full sun. It actually just bakes in here. And I just want to show you what it looks like in the center here. You can see the uh, fiddleheads coming out of the center right there. So that's the center of the crown right there and that's why water and just wicks right through that whole trunk. So try one in your own garden. That is a zone 9A plant this far north. You have to be in zone 9 if you want that thing for long-term survival. And this is one of our accommodation decks and the, uh, the guests that stay here get to enjoy this plant. I don't come down here much. I just come here, down here to water and that's it. And it's a busy time of the year for us here on the uh, Gulf Islands. Lots of tourists and a lot of them do appreciate the gardens. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.